This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. Your stem cells, your health, your life. I think we've got ourselves straightened out now. We're back. So, so. I want to talk about Mother Bickerdike. Have you ever heard of Mother Bickerdike? Well, she's a very famous figure that obviously you somehow missed because your education was deficient. But <laughs> Mother Bickerdike was a Union Army nurse, so Civil War era, and beloved by the troops. She served with General Grant, and she was just a phenomenal character. That's why you should watch this show, because then you find out about people you've never heard about, oh, like sure me. Mary Ann Bickerdike, also known as Mother Bickerdike, was a hospital administrator for Union soldiers during the American Civil War. She was born in Ohio. After the outbreak of the Civil War, she joined a field hospital at Fort Donelson. She later worked on the first hospital boat. During the war, she became chief of nursing under the command of General Ulysses S. Grant and served at the Battle of Vicksburg. When his staff complained about the outspoken, insubordinate female nurse who was consistently disregarding the Army's red tape and military procedures, Union General William T. Sherman threw up his hands and exclaimed, She ranks me. I can't do a thing in the world. Bickerdike was a nurse who ran roughshod over anyone who stood in the way of her self-appointed duties. She was known affectionately to her boys, the grateful enlisted men, as Mother Bickerdike. When a surgeon questioned her authority to take some action, she replied, On the authority of Lord God Almighty, have you anything that outranks that? Mother Bickerdike became the best-known, most colorful, and probably most resourceful Civil War nurse. Widowed two years before the war began, she supported herself and her two half-grown sons by practicing as a botanic physician in Galesburg, Illinois. When a young Union volunteer physician wrote home about the filthy, chaotic military hospitals at Cairo, Illinois, Galesburg citizens collected $500 worth of supplies, and selected Bickerdike to deliver them. No one else would go. She stayed in Cairo as an unofficial nurse, and through her unbridled energy and dedication, she organized the hospitals and gained Grant's appreciation. Grant sanctioned her efforts, and when his army moved down the Mississippi, Bickerdike went too, setting up hospitals where they were needed. Sherman was especially fond of this volunteer nurse who followed the Western armies, and supposedly she was the only woman he would allow in his camp. By the end of the war, with the help of the U.S. Sanitary Commission, Mother Bickerdike had built 300 hospitals and aided the wounded on 19 battlefields, including the Battle of Shiloh and Sherman's March to the Sea. Mother Bickerdike was so loved by the Army that the soldiers would cheer her as they would a general when she appeared. At Sherman's request, she rode at the head of the 15th Corps in the Grand Review in Washington at the end of the war. After the war ended, she worked for the Salvation Army in San Francisco and became an attorney, helping Union veterans with legal issues. She ran a hotel in Salina, Kansas for a time. She received a special pension of $25 a month from Congress in 1886 and retired to Bunker Hill, Kansas. She died peacefully after a minor stroke. A statue of her was erected in Galesburg, and a hospital boat and a Liberty ship, the Mary Bickerdike, were named after her. Ag Promo Source is a unique group of marketing specialists with one mission, help your ag business grow. Each affiliate has their own area of expertise and they work together to bring you advice, products, and services. To get started, visit agpromosource.com. Ag Promo Source, together we grow.